Hello online pipe community. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. Today we have another Parsimonious Pipe. It is a Briar Lee carved Rhodesian. Let's take a closer look. At first glance, you'll notice the stem was not terribly oxidized on this. I just had to polish it up a little bit. I was able to um, clean the uh, the bowl so that you can see the grain pops a little more down below. That's not just a trick of uh, lighting and color match. The inside of the bowl needed reaming and the top had some lava on it. Between the two of those, you'll notice in the upper left uh, corner of the bowl, uh, what looks like a ding is actually, that was just buildup of lava and cake. And when I cleaned that out, the rim went back to true round. Uh, there's still a little bit of charring left on the inside of the rim, but you can see, if you look over at the stummel, uh, this is not a matter of color and light uh, in the photograph because those are pretty close. The top of that rim pops now. The grain, it just really shines through. The dark spot on the left does not appear to be charring. It looks like maybe there was some flaw in the grain that absorbed more stain or something, uh, but, but that was not something that uh, would sand through. Like the last pipe, this one needed to be clocked. The stem was off uh, rotation, and uh, this is a threaded stem. Fortunately, this time I got the pictures to match up just a little bit better so you can see just how uh, off the stem was. This stem, uh, after I clocked it, uh, is still a little off, and the reason for that is because the stem itself is not perfectly straight. The button uh, does not line up exactly with the uh, what would be a horizontal plane on the top of the stem. It is actually torqued just slightly in that direction. Innards cleaned up very nicely. You see a little bit uh, of the uh, ash mark on the bottom uh, pick from uh, when I clocked it using heat to, uh, to melt that glue. On the left, what looks like a dent, that is actually part of the carving and uh, that's just been damaged in that, that one section. The major shape of that dent was uh, an intentional factory feature, but this one cleaned up rather well. No before and after pics of these last two, just uh, afters. Wanted you to be able to see what the carving uh, looks like uh, around the rest of the stummel. This side shows a nice field of bird's eye uh, right next to a little bit of uh, straight grain. Looking underneath, you see a little bit more of that uh, carving pattern and the bird's eye. Nice little field of it down there. Now for 28 and change, that's not a bad little pipe. It's got, it's got nice thick walls, smokes really, really well. I, I love these chunky little small custom built style pipes. Um, they, they just, uh, they seem to seem to smoke rather well. In it, in it, I have some Robert McConnell Scottish Flake. Now, I think I touched on the Scottish cake last year. Um, the Scottish Flake is the same components, uh, not exactly the same blend. I'm gonna smoke this off and on all week. We'll talk about it next Tuesday. Sorry for that break. Phone rang. Israel, so cow Piper is having a giveaway to celebrate 100 people subbing his channel. Now, Israel is a wonderful guy, um, does a, a daily, if not, if not daily, almost daily, a um, little bit of scripture and prayer. For his giveaway, he's asking us just to list three blessings. You don't have to give a, do a VR, but I decided I'd like to. Living in the United States at the time that I do is blessing all on its own. But I want to talk about the three greatest blessings in my life. The first, the first would have to be Jesus Christ as Savior. Uh, my life would not be the same, certainly would not be the same, um, if I had remained an atheist. The 
the changes in me have been profound. The second blessing is my wife. Um, this is another blessing in my life that I, I really don't know what my life would look like without her. She has been a, a support and encouragement. Um, she has held me accountable. She knows my flaws. She loves me anyway. She hates the pipe, but she likes those of you that she has met. So she tolerates my hobby. Um, she, she is just, uh, she's outstanding. Third, and um, uh, this probably won't surprise any of you, uh, my kids. Uh, my kids are most definitely a blessing. Now, does that mean that uh, throughout their entire lives or even now, they always feel like a blessing? No. <laughs> no, no. Anybody who has kids at any age, whether they're toddlers or adults, uh, knows that there are moments when, when those kids, you go, why, why, did I, why did I have these? But the truth is that without having become a father, I would not have the same uh, understanding of and relationship with my Heavenly Father that I do. And uh, I would not have nearly the lens to see my own imperfections and flaws um, if I had not had children and, and deepened that relationship vertically as well. Well, Israel's link will be down below. Drop by. Check him out. I think you'll like him. I also think that you'll like some of the responses to this particular giveaway. Israel, don't enter me. Got too much stuff as it is. Ah, by the way, here is the shirt I'm wearing right now. Some days that sums up my attitude. My kids gave me that. Well, folks, drop by Israel's channel. Like something you like. Enjoy this afternoon.